Alien Gear Holsters, budget or bust? Let's check it out. Guys, a few years ago, I did a full review on the Alien Gear holster system, and the title was Budget or Bust. And so I took the uh, original Alien Gear, had a number of different holster options, and wore it for about three months, just every day. Uh, in fact, one week we had a, a big event that I was doing some security on and wore a HK P30 in one of these same style holsters all week, every night, and uh, it was just super comfortable. And now Alien Gear has kind of stepped it up and redesigned with their shapeshift system. So we're gonna take a look today at the core carry pack from Alien Gear. Uh, there are four different holster options. It's modular, you can change it out however you want to. Now, because of the popularity of the initial Alien Gear holster review, Alien Gear has gotten in touch with me a number of times over the past three or four years, but I just didn't see a need to step it up. Uh, when we did the, the holiday gift guide at GetZone.com over the holidays, uh, the Alien Gear Shapeshift was part of the gift guide. And guys, I'll tell you, I was really impressed with their improvements and their upgrades. I mean, they are, they've really done a lot since those original holsters. And Alien Gear is all made right here in the USA. Now here I have one of the original Alien Gear holsters. Uh, I believe this is the Cloak series. And you can see it's Kydex, has screws, mounting screws here, and also here and here in the loops. Uh, it's got a kind of a synthetic material, and then on the back, just a nice cloth. But you can see all of the different uh, points for the rivets or for the screw holes. And, um, and this holster's been out for a good while. But of course, Alien Gear, you know, they've just moved up. And that's where the 4.0 comes in, uh, and the shape shift. Uh, one thing you've got is your loops. Actually, no tools needed. This just comes off. You can see it's kind of a key effect. Fits in. You can just turn it around. And then it's secure. It's not going to come popping off. Uh, but there's no screws. And even on the back, I mean, everything is smooth. And this is going to add to a lot more comfort. Also, with the holster itself, uh, it's real simple. Just take one of these little keys, pop it down. And the holster comes right off and that's one of the cool systems uh, again toolless i mean there's no problems uh, there are some things that you could use some allen wrenches for but those are things that you don't typically need a lot but uh, we'll get into more of the details in a minute but as you can see i took it off and i popped it and i put it right back on so it's a really quick system but here you can see the molding is much more precise and what that does is it cuts down the waste because it actually adheres to the firearm better and you know here we've got just the open design um, and so this is definitely an upgrade plus one thing we're going to look at a little more is we have retention in this holster and this is one of the only holsters uh, that's a inside the waistband that actually has retention most of your hybrid holsters like this they don't have retention now before we get started too far you know there's a lot of guys including myself a lot of times with certain type holsters that we just like, that fit us the way we like it to fit. And one of the things about Alien Gear is it's gonna give us a lot of modularity. Your preferences may be a lot stronger for what you're looking for, uh, but as far as an overall system and being able to change things out, it's gonna be very hard to beat Alien Gear. Now again, it comes in this nice big box and we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Right here we have two panels and we also have instructions that inside we have a system. And one thing that I really like about this system over some things is with this box, I can take out what I need. And then if I wanna switch it out, I've got everything here in this box. So I really like that. I do have some holster systems that, you know, I've got stuff all over the place and half the time I can't find it. So this really keeps things organized. But you get your holster shell. So whatever holster that you're using, you can get the shell for it. The cool thing is, is you can get different shells to go with all these accessories. Now, Alien Gear does not use Kydex. Uh, they use a polymer, very similar to the polymer in a lot of guns. 
and so in, it's injected molded I mean you can see the detail and that's one of the big things about the new designs is that it will fit very closely to the firearm uh, and so the modular system is really just it's plug and play I mean there's so many different ways to bring this together now the backing is also unique uh, this has a sheet of spring stainless steel uh, that's that gives it some rigidity and there's also ballistic nylon that gives it retention so you're going to get a lot of flex and that way it can mold to your body the surface right here is kind of a rubberized feel to it uh, this is going to really give you a little bit of traction with your handgun as well it's going to help with retention and then on the back we have a neoprene a sleeve that kind of fits here it's breathable adds a lot of comfort and it's moisture repellent so this is one of the best systems really I mean as far as a backing much better than leather and uh, a lot of the other synthetic materials they have really put a lot of thought into it here you have your mounting point and then you have the points for your belt loops now it's very easy to put this together uh, we have our shell and we're going to bring in our trigger guard now here we have tracks and then we have tracks here as well and we're just going to enter it into those tracks and then it snaps into place now we have twist locks that go here you just tighten them in one turn now we're going to bring and put it into our holster. We've got our mounting plate, slide it, there are tracks that it fits right on. And then we're going to take our second twist lock and turn it. Now we're going to take our clips, and again, these are super easy to use. Put them in and then just turn them. Well, I love that. It's much better than screws and everything else. I can set them both up high, or I can come in low to get a cant on the firearm makes it really easy to be able to test that cant. And we're done. Firearm goes in, hear the click, <laughs> and that is retention. Now we can take off one of our twist locks and we can increase or decrease the tension of our retention right here. And this just changes it. You can set it to wherever you want to. When you're done, put the twist lock on, turn it, and you're good to go. Guys, this is the only system that I know of that has retention with a hybrid type holster like this. And one of the great things is it completely encases the trigger guard. So it's a very safe way to carry. Here we have the inside the waistband set up. It's more of the hybrid type with the soft. And this material is excellent, guys. Now this typically goes back here for kidney carry. Uh, and then what I like to do is, I'm gonna take my Core Essentials belt can just kind of loosen this up but because this is fairly difficult to get in it's best just to kind of unbuckle <laughs> this is something you definitely want to do before you leave home but once you get it in it's set get it down into the place you want it this is probably the most difficult to mount but it's one of the most comfortable to wear go ahead and tighten up my belt good and tight Makes it ride really close to the body. It's got good retention. Of course, you can set that however you want to. Now, when you get your box, this actually comes in this configuration. It has the level two retention. Uh, it has your quick detach mount right here, which this is pretty cool. We'll look at this in a minute. But we're gonna go ahead and take our twist locks and just show you how easy and simple it is to pull this apart and it just breaks like this. So it slides in together and then you just twist it down and it's really very stable. And to put this back in order, line up your slots, bring it back together, pop in your twist locks. And we have this fixture here and we have our paddle with the alien head. <laughs> then we just take and press right here. This is your lock, you press it and this fits right in and it's good and stable. If you want to take it off, just depress and it pulls right off. If you want to set your cant differently, press and just set it in at a different angle. Now first we have the paddle set up. Really easy to be able to attach. What's really cool is I can press this, pull it right off. If I want to set my firearm down, press this button again, slide it in. The other thing is I can press it and I can cant it if I need a little more of a cant. This is level two retention, so it does have the little thumb brake. Push down, brings it right out. It's a very natural movement. 
I drive my hand in, push down. Doesn't really matter where I get it on the thumb brake either. It tends to work very well. Now this is gonna be more of a competitive or a defensive kind of holster. So, um, you know, it does kind of stick out just a little bit because of the lockup system. And then with the level two retention as well. And the great thing is it's easy to remove. And yet, with this shelf right here, it really retains very well in your waistband. Now one thing that's pretty cool that's included is this mount. And you can take this mount and place it on under a table, you can place it in your vehicle, wherever you want to place a gun. And so here we're going to depress and just place it right in. And so however you want to set this, you've got your holster. And then if you want to take your holster off, just pull it. So it's a pretty cool system and then you can put it right to your paddle or whatever. They even have a rubber backing that you can put on here and then you can run a belt through it. And again, all the hardware is included for this piece. Now we're going to look at appendix carry using this backing and then we have the shell and we have our trigger retention. And so we're going to just slide this right into place, take our twist lock, pop it down, place it right here. Let me take our belt clip, slide it in, take our twist lock, pop it in, and now we have appendix carry. And you have retention and your trigger guard is completely guarded. I love that click. Next we have the appendix set up. You've got this really nice backing clip. It's down in here. This is a G19, so it's a fairly larger pistol for concealed carry. Retention is great, uh, and again, you can set that retention to wherever you want it. Now, one thing that I will mention about this system is that this can be a little bit thicker uh, because here you're wrapping it around your belt, you got this larger piece right here, the backing, and it does stick out just a little bit. You know, it's not that difficult to conceal. It is a little more difficult than some other type holsters. Now we're going to look at making this into a belt slide holster. Now I'm going to remove the trigger guard from this one, and then we're going to put on the belt slide trigger guard. And obviously this can only go in one way. You just want to line up these grooves right here with the grooves. It's really very intuitive. I know when you first look at this kit, and I know I did, it was a little bit like, wow, this is a lot going on. But once you just figure it out, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's really easy to put together. We're gonna place this here, take our other slide. We're gonna bring it up. See how it locks everything down? It protects everything, keeps it into place. Then just bring in your twist lock, snap it. And now I have a belt slide. Here we have it mounted. Set your attention however you want to with the holster. Excellent for concealed carry or for the range or even open carry when you have a lot of options with this. And it has that really comfortable backing, gives you a lot of support. Now one of the big pluses of the core carry pack is the price. This is $99.88. That includes the two back plates, your holster shell, a retention clip, paddle. I mean, all these different things, your appendix carry, uh, even your slide belt and your mount. Now if you get just the inside the waistband holster that fits this, this runs $55.88. So it's not a lot more expensive to get the whole setup. Guys, to me, one of the big pluses for this holster is that click. I mean, it's locked in. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. And you can set that tension tighter. And I'll show you, I mean, that was not, that's not as tight as it'll go. It definitely will tighten down, or you can loosen it up. The toolless adjustment on the belt loops, and you can get belt loops that are solid, by the way. Uh, these are the clip-on. It's just toolless, it's easy, very modular. I mean, there's a lot of cool things. Now, I do have some points to where this holster may not be for you. Uh, for one thing, uh, if you have an RMR or some kind of micro red dot, uh, it's not going to fit. It just doesn't quite make it. It's close. I didn't see any options for any kind of RMRs, but because of the popularity of the micro red dots, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Alien Gear uh, started making models for that. Another thing is, is if you're looking for lights, I didn't see a lot of options for any kind of light on a pistol, 
which a lot of people are starting to put lights, especially for home defense and things like that, even carry guns with lights on them. And one other thing is if you like to run compensators or you have a threaded barrel for a suppressor, because of this closed off end, you're just not gonna be able to get that in. That may be some things coming up that Alien Gear might wanna address. So uh, those are just some things. But here's the funny thing, guys. If you're putting a compensator, an RMR, or a light on your pistol, uh, you're typically going out and buying really high-end holsters. <laughs> so, you know, the guys that are really tricking out their pistols and doing a lot to it, Alien Gear may not be somebody that you would buy from anyway. Uh, but this is the thing, guys, I feel that Alien Gear really fits the niche. And I think it's a large niche. In fact, I think it's actually the majority of gun owners. Most guys are just looking for a good, comfortable holster, even if you have a concealed carry permit. And this is a very modular system to where you can carry it concealed, you can carry it outside the waistband if you want to you know, go down to the range and shoot during the day, or if you want to do some competitive shooting, uh, some, especially that paddle holster or even with the slide. It kind of puts it out just a little bit so you can draw it quicker, and so I think it would be a great option. Plus, shoulder holster options, even molly options, maybe get just the shell for another firearm and I have a whole system for it. Now, one cool thing about Alien Gear is they have a 30-day test drive. You buy it, you don't like it, you send it back for a full refund. But then they have the forever guarantee. If anything ever goes wrong with your Alien Gear holster, something breaks, something whatever, they'll replace it, fix it. And again, these are made in the USA. So again, I want to thank Alien Gear for sending the core carry pack and for their support. Uh, and guys, I'll tell you, if you're looking for that really modular, good quality system that's comfortable to wear all day, uh, alien gear is a great choice and it's got this really cool alien be strong be of good courage god bless america long live the republic there are these little tensioning screws right here what is that called uh, this is a really If you're wearing heavy clothes, you might be able to get away with it. With it. You might be able to get away with it. <laughs> then we take our belt Here, this will give you a little bit of a better look. Here, this will give you a little better look. Yeah, you could probably trim it down or something like that. I don't... If you're tricking out your firearm... Okay, let's, let's just talk about that. And I highly recommend taking a look at the Alien KK. Bye -bye.